Hi, I'm Laughing Woman, and I'm doing a reading this week to see how we can move through the week with the most harmony and grace that we possibly can. Well, the first card is Major 21, Wholeness. The second card is Nine of Air, Distortion. The third card is Major 13, Transformation. The fourth card is Two of Bridges, Ground. And the fifth card is Major 11, Strength. Now one of the things I'm seeing in this reading is every other card is a Major Arcana. We begin and end the week with Major. In the middle of the week we have a Major. What that tells me is that this is a very significant week, and it also tells me that our energy is intense all week long, and it's very balanced in that intensity. These are wonderful cards out here. So we're looking at wholeness at the beginning of the week. This is the wholeness that lets us know that we and every other being in the universe are one. Whatever happens to one of us happens to another. We impact each other. And that when we surround all of this with love, when we are love in action, it all works in harmony. We move from that wholeness into distortion. Now what this feels to me like this week is that this is the things that distort our ability to hold the wholeness. These may th be things within you, they may be things outside of you. But as you move from the beginning of the week into Monday or Tuesday, start paying attention to where that sense of wholeness leaves you. Where does it start dissipating? Those are the things that get you a little off track with staying in harmony with all. Pay attention to those things, and as soon as you get a hold on them, transform them. This transformation card means that things move from seed to full fruit and back around, become seed and grow again. Whatever it is that helps you go into distorted perspectives, give it permission to grow into its fullness, ripen, drop, and become something new again. From that transformation, we move into ground. It's always important after you do a major change process like this, and transformation is an incredible healing process. This will be a short one, but it's intense. It's always important to ground yourself so that that change becomes real in you. So along about Thursday or Friday, take time to be grounded. Eat some root fruit foods, get out in the garden, get your feet and hands on the ground, get out with the earth, get into your body solidly. And then we end the week on strength. This is that beautifully centered personal power that lets us know that we are fine and that we know how to make our way through life with harmony and beauty and grace. Have yourself an incredible week this week.